and we've just arrived into Wicklow town and there's a pictorial representation along the wall of the car park here that's second to none and it shows the whole history of the town, major events and all the rest of it. So I'm going to video that now. And this is, these are the boys that have done it. Well, I think it's worth... Sixty BC. There's Patrick. Four three two BC AD. Eight hundreds. Seventy or eleven seventy uh, with the coming of the uh, the Normans. in between these two cars. Sixteen forty five burnings fighting. Sixteen seventy. I'm not sure what the significance of that year is. Seventeen hundred. Seventeen oh two Wicklow Jail, I presume. Eighteen forty four. Don't know what that's a reminder of. Seventeen ninety nine. That's one of the statues, I think, of one of the rebellion leaders. Would that be your man, Byrne? 1836, 1894. Is this, is this the cable layer? I don't know. Uh, coming off the railway, 1855, which revolutionised everything. And 1880, Wicklow uh, Port, and 2018 as it is today. This is us in Wicklow Town, a historic town. Not a very big town, about 10,000, 11,000 people. And this is us in the town square. Fort William Square apparently and this is the Captain R.C. Halpine Memorial Monument. Not sure exactly who he was or what he did. In fact I know nothing about him. Commander R.N. Reserve, Marine Superintendent, Telegraph Construction and Maintenance Company, Nautical Assessor, High Court and Judiciary, Member of the Local Marine Board, Fort, Port of London, Junior Brother, Trinity Corporation. He wasn't that old when he died. And he was into communication and cable laying, and that's probably what this rope is indicative of, or this is probably a cable. He rendered telegraphy 
services in all parts of the world. So that's his claim to fame in Wicklow Town Remembered. And there's a lot of uh, wee shops, colourful little shops about here. trying to look good. They've got their hanging baskets there, I notice. To brighten the place up. And this is what the uh, piece of information, tourist information, says about Wicklow Town. Meander the narrow streets of this vibrant town with its selection of shops, cafes, bars. 13th century Franciscan Abbey. Ruins are located in Abbey Street. And then there's Wicklow Jail in Kilmanton Street. And then there's the Quayside with Sammy the seal bobbing about in between the fishing boats if you can catch him. Coastal walk out to the lighthouse. Nature walk along the Varity River which turns into the Leitrim River. And the 12th century Black Castle ruins at the north end of the town. There you go. And we're below the uh, Wicklow Mountains. Oh, you narrow, colourful streets. Would remind you of Wexford. We've got Casino Royale here, something that you would just expect to see in Wicklow. Traditional industry, obviously. And we'll find another monument. This is the Billy Byrne Monument, and he's carrying or holding a pike. And this uh, monument is uh, in remembrance to all the uh, Wicklow men who fought in various rebellions against the English. Uh, and it's, it's, uh, it links them all together. The, um, the events of 1798, 1803, 1848, and 1867. And we're in Market Square, apparently. There's the town hall. We're coming close to Wicklow Jail. There's the sea peeping through. And we're on Kilmartin Hill. Sure, whether this is the jail or not. Maybe the jail's further on up. We've just found Wicklow Jail, and it's, uh, it doesn't look as if it's a very nice place, or was a very nice place. It says it's the gates of hell. And 
this is the Wicklow Town Heritage Trail. Now, there's been a settlement in Wicklow Town or in this area for at least 1500 years maybe long before and these are the key places to go and see so we've got Patrick and his monks 432 I read up to the present. We've got Norman influence, uh, Viking influence, Norman influence, industry. There you go. And this is us sitting beside Wicklow Harbour and up there where the old guns are appearing on the skyline is Black Castle and the ruins of Black Castle that defended this whole coastline back in the 1700s and the guys across here the lorry drivers actually are using their the cranes on the back of the the uh, lorries to load up timber, and that means that crane drivers at the port are totally redundant because the lorry drivers can do it. And we're looking back into the the port and quite a number of fishing boats tied up. And this is Wicklow town up above it. Beautiful, another beautiful day, absolutely wonderful. This is the entrance to the old ruin site of Black Castle. And I presume these guns are are real are original. Black Castle. And this is a substantial building. Uh, looks as if it's uh, Norman. Might be wrong. But there's not much of it left. Uh, situated in the rocky headland to the south of the estuary of the Verity River, the ruins of the uh, 12th century Black Castle. And just another sweep round. Who were the people who lived there? Who lived here? Did they go for a swim in the day? Imagine the Vikings attacking here. It required some amount of work to construct. The defences here. And they wouldn't have had JCBs or cement like we have. Beautiful spot.
wet low tide. And this is the Remembrance Memorial near Castle Street in Wicklow. You see the Celtic Cross? It's not clever cut out from between these two slabs. And presumably this refers to the First and Second World War. <laughs> 